Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Sloan with The Gear Cage, and today we're diving into the super fresh and new Scarlet Generation 4 audio interfaces. I'm going to talk about the build and sound quality, go over the features, both old and new, and show you how to get the most out of these little audio marvels. Let's get to it. The Focusrite Scarlet interfaces are the best selling brand in the world when it comes to audio interfaces. They've sold millions and millions of them to help folks record music, get better audio out of their computers, and communicate better with software like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Uh, or more relevant to our conversation today, record musical ideas and help mix radio ready tracks. Now, the idea is to give you access to nice features, amazing build quality and support at a price that's attainable. In the last few years, competition has really, really been heating up in this uh, space with interfaces such as the M2 from Mo2, as well as the M4 and the Universal Audio Volt line, um, including the SSL interfaces and audience interfaces. So a lot of good choices out there, but like a Cold War-esque arms race, Focusrite is trying to reclaim their dominance with the new Gen 4. And I think they've done a great job. Let's cover all of the new features and key things to know on a Scarlet audio interface. Then we'll go over the models that are currently for sale. Let's get started with converters and preamps. The converters on this bad boy are pulled from their higher end RedNet interfaces. Those will set you back thousands of dollars in some cases. So it's really cool to see this tech make its way downstream. The dynamic range in these interfaces is also really impressive at 120 dB. That's from the quietest to the loudest um, as far as the details that it can record. I think a jet uh, engine is around 120 dB, so you're going to be able to capture from silence to jet engine. So in all seriousness, great dynamic range uh, helps with conversion cycles too. Meaning if you send your tracks to a mixing engineer who mixes with outboard gear and then send it to a mastering engineer who does the same thing, you're going to be able to maintain greater clarity longer with improved dynamic range from the beginning. Another big story with this interface is improved gain. The preamp on the Scarlet Generation 4 interfaces is 69 dB. This means you won't need a cloud lifter anymore for your SM7B or ElectroVoice RE20 or ribbon microphones. Halo rings, let's, let's check out these new halo rings too. I'm sorry, but I'm a sucker for these. The Gen 4 rings light up, or I should say the Gen 3 rings lit up, but uh, only as a solid color. Now we have multicolor metering going around the whole interface with these halo meters. It's just a really cool nuance of a feature that I happen to like a lot. There's also a new and improved version of air mode. And air emulates the sound of classic Focusrite consoles, which, by the way, did you know who designed those? None other than Mr. Rupert Neve himself. I actually have a master's video series coming out soon that will go into that. Uh, but air mode gives you some of that console harmonic saturation uh, and can add character to your recording. It's great to be able to be pristine or a little bit grungy if you want to be. Auto gain. Uh, this is probably somewhat self-explanatory, but the auto gain feature will listen to the source for around 10 to 15 seconds and then set the gain where it needs or where it thinks it should be automatically. So that takes the guesswork out of it for you. It's kind of like having an engineer in the box. Next, let's talk about clip safe. This is one of the coolest new features on the Scarlet Gen 4 interfaces. Let me set the scene. You've just set up to record. You've got everything ready and you start going with it. And we all know that a lot of times that very first take is the best one. But oh no, 
Your gain was set too high and you're clipping and distorting all over the place. Now, back in the old days, that would just be unusable. But with clip safe, an occasional peak won't ruin your recording. Next, let's talk about the improved headphone amplifiers. The Scarlett Gen 4 series have a newly designed and more beefy headphone amplifier. A lot of times this wasn't an issue in the past, but there are certain headphones out there that want more power, like the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro 250 ohm headphones, and also some of the Sennheiser audio audiophile grade headphones want a little bit more power as well. And you've got it here, which is great. Last, let's talk about the software bundle. Focusrite has always done a great job hooking users up with great software, and the Scarlett Gen 4 series is no different. You get a nice collection of plugins to get started, and you even get three months of Pro Tools Artist included, so you can use what the pros use on your recording. Now, let's talk about specific versions of the interface currently available. And if you've liked the video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you do feel like buying one of these, click the link in the top of the info field to buy and support the channel. First, let's talk about the Scarlett Solo Gen 4. The Scarlett Solo is the first new addition to the line. It features one microphone preamp and one instrument input. So you can plug a microphone and a guitar into this interface or a microphone and a mono keyboard source. Uh, it's made to be a high quality, very portable option for folks needing very basic input options. Next, the most popular here, we have the Scarlett 2i2 Gen 4. Uh, like the Solo, it features automatic gain control, dynamic gain halos, air mode, and all that stuff but it also gives you the ability to plug in two microphones at one time, or you could plug in a stereo keyboard uh, as well if you'd like. Next, let's talk about the Scarlett 4i4 Gen 4. This is the last model currently out. I do suspect we'll see a few more models uh, to fill out the line next year, but the Scarlett 4i4 Gen 4 has all of the same core features as the other models, but it does give you four input and output channels at once. That means you can hook up two microphones at the same time as well as a stereo keyboard, or maybe one microphone, one guitar, and a stereo keyboard all to the same interface at the same time. So for just under $80 uh, more than the 2i2, it may be worth purchasing this one to safeguard yourself for the future to give yourself enough inputs. So that's the line as it stands now. I really hope you found this video to be helpful. Put any questions or comments down below. I'm Ryan Sloan for The Gear Cage, and I'll see you next time. the weather and there's no wind no sun